you need a pen for your Chromebook. Hi, my name is John Sowash, and in this video, I want to show you how you can add a digital pen or stylus to your touchscreen Chromebook. Now, if you've been teaching in the COVID pandemic, you probably have had a moment where you thought to yourself, boy, it really would be a lot easier if I could just write, jot, draw, sketch, you know, right in the margin of this document. Sometimes writing with a pen, the freedom of just sketching wherever you want, is an easier way to communicate. You can do that with a touchscreen Chromebook. We're gonna look at several different types of pens and compare how they work and help you figure out which Chromebook uh, pen will work for you. Now, there are three different types of pens that I'm going to be reviewing here today, but the first thing we need to do is talk about your device. You have to have a touchscreen Chromebook. Now, good news is there's lots of them. Uh, touchscreen Chromebooks are all over the place. Uh, this right here is the HP X360. This is the 2020 version. Uh, which has some special capabilities we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, I also have a smaller device. This is the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, which is a uh, really nice travel device. Um, this doubles as a tablet, does have a keyboard as well, and this is also touchscreen. Now, touch is not that expensive. It'll cost about $20 to $30 uh, in addition to the base price of the device, and most manufacturers have a touch and a non-touch version. I will not buy a non-touch device. Um, all my kids have touchscreen Chromebooks and I always recommend them because I think they provide the greatest value. Just opens up so many opportunities to draw, sketch, doodle, annotate, jamboard, lots of cool stuff, okay? So you're gonna need a touchscreen Chromebook and then you're going to need a digital pen or stylus. Now the first type of stylus I'd like to uh, talk with you about uh, is uh, the simplest one. This is a passive stylus. Now this stylus right here has no battery. There's no electrical components in the pen itself. You probably recognize this because it has that squishy rubber tip um, on the end. These are incredibly cheap. Um, you can get them for a dollar. If you go to your favorite EdTech conference, they're probably handing these out in the vendor hall for free. So cheap is good, especially if you're thinking about adding them to schools. Let's see how it uh, performs. Um, I'm using a tool called Chrome Canvas. It's a free drawing uh, whiteboard from Google. And we're gonna test the, the quality of this pen by drawing a um, thin straight line. We're gonna draw very slowly and we're looking for jitter. So jitter is um, imperfections in the line, uh, dots or jagged edges. Uh, so let's just ch check this out and see how we're doing here. So nice slow line, and you can see that line is pretty wavy. Um, and if I change the line thickness, we'll go even a little smaller here, you'll be able to see it even further. So I'm drawing a straight line, but it's not coming out straight um, on the screen. So this is inexpensive, it's easy to find, but it's not going to give you a very enjoyable um, annotation experience. This is fine for drawing circles, check marks, underlining things, but you're not going to be writing, taking notes, you know, writing sentences with this style of pen. So that's option number one. This is the passive stylus. Um, now option number two is uh, this one here. This is an EMR stylus. Now this one does not have uh, a battery or any um, technology in it either. It communicates directly with the touchscreen. Now, if I test this on my device, it does nothing because in order for an EMR stylus to work, you must have an EMR touchscreen. Now, there are quite a few available. A lot of Chromebooks have them. Uh, HP, Lenovo, CTL all have EMR touchscreen Chromebooks. Um, but you have to know that. You know, I bought this because I was super excited. I've heard good things about this. And I was like, I'm going to try this. It's going to be great. And it doesn't work. Um, it's not very well explained that you need a special device in order for this to work. Now, this particular stylus here, um, it's kind of mid-range. I think these are anywhere from $10 to $15. But most of the cost for this type of stylus, EMR, is in the device. You're not going to find a cheap Chromebook with an EMR touchscreen, the digitizer. Um, this is going to be more in the three to $500 range. So higher price device, 
good experience. This works very well. It's a, it's a very good, um, you have a nice straight line. It can be very fine. This is a nice tip on it. Um, but you got to have the right device. Now, in the description for this video, I will link to a list of EMR Chromebooks. So if you think you might have one, if you've got a Lenovo, CTL, HP, look at that list. And if it's on the list, then you can buy this. Again, this is the Norris Digital from Stadler. So we've looked at two types of pens. We've got the passive with the rubber tip. Uh, we've got the EMR, which requires a special type of Chromebook. The third type of pen that I have is an active stylus. Now this is a very special one here. This is actually the Pixelbook pen and it works wonderfully. This is a very, very high quality pen. The problem is that it's obscenely expensive. Uh, this is a $100 uh, pencil. Um, this is on par with the Apple Pencil. Now the challenge, in addition to being expensive, this pen here only works with my Pixelbook Chromebook. It will not work with my HP, my Lenovo. It only works on one specific device, just like the Apple Pencil. These are proprietary active stylus devices. So Google, Apple specifically designed this to work with their device and that's it. Um, so because of the cost and because of the um, exclusivity of the, uh, the pen, this isn't really a good classroom option. Now, if you've got a, an iPad and an Apple Pencil, that's great. You're gonna love it. That's a really great experience, but you know, thinking about mass deployment of that is probably not very realistic. Now let's look at another active stylus. Um, this one here is a generic active stylus that I bought off of Amazon. Very inexpensive, I think $10, $12, um, and it does work. So this has a battery. There's you know, a chip inside that communicates with my Chromebook. Let's test it out and uh, see how it works. Let's change our line color. Uh, again, we're gonna draw a slow straight line and just see um, how it compares. So right off the bat, you can see that this is terrible. <laughs> this is the worst pen that I have. This is absolutely terrible, but you don't know that and there's no way for you to figure that out until you buy it and you try it. Because this is a generic device, it will work with any active um, screens, which pretty much all Chromebooks that have touchscreens would work with this. But the quality of it is suspect because this manufacturer did not make it for the Chromebook. They made it for everything. And when you shoot for the middle, you don't do anything very well. Now I have another one uh, right here. This one is a little bit more expensive, I think, uh, $15, $25, something like that. Again, from Amazon. Uh, let's try this one out. Uh, maybe we'll switch to green this time. Do some drawing. All right, here we go. So you can see we're definitely better than the uh, first active stylus, but not great. This one is okay. Um, I have used this for quite a while. I wasn't thrilled, but it got the job done. Again, if you're circling check marks, you know, simple, um, you know, letters and words, it's okay. Um, but again, not thrilled with it. Now the problem and the frustration of this situation is you don't know if these are going to be any good until you try them. There is no way that you can read the Amazon description or figure out if this is going to be a good pen for your Chromebook. All of them are a little bit different. You might get lucky, you might not. That is why the USI initiative was started. So this pen here is a USI active stylus. So USI stands for Universal Stylus Initiative, which is a group of um, engineers who are developing a standard so that touchscreens communicate with computers in a standard format. Now, there's a great example of why this is important because this group here that's doing the USI also worked on USB. Back in the day, a long time ago, you had to make sure that the printer, scanner, camera you bought would plug in to your computer. There was no standardization. There was a group that developed USB and today, nobody even thinks about it. You just plug it in and it works. Mac, PC, Chromebook, it just works. That is the same goal behind the USI program. So I have two USI pens here, 
And these are designed to um, bring together the manufacturers of the pens and the manufacturers of the devices. So that there's a standard set of rules that they both agree to so that these will work more effectively and prevent you from having to buy a dozen pens to figure out which one's going to work. Now I'm excited to um, share that Google is a huge supporter of the USI program and has committed that all Chromebooks manufactured after the year 2020 will come USI compatible. So if you buy a touchscreen Chromebook in 2020 or beyond, you can be confident that purchasing a USI pen is going to give you a very, very good experience. Let's check it out. So let's try this uh, silver one first. Now this is a rechargeable one. Uh, it does have an on off switch. We'll turn it on here. This one is uh, from Brunel is the company that makes this. I got this off Amazon, I think maybe $30 if uh, I remember correctly. I'll put links to all the pens in the uh, description and you can purchase them if you're interested. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to, uh, maybe we'll do purple this time. All right, and uh, again, slow straight line. And you can see right off the bat that this is far, far superior to all the other pens that we have uh, tested. Um, I've got another one here from Lenovo. Um, this one is very simple. This is not rechargeable, it has a battery in it. Um, I do like the tip on this one, it's very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll do red. And it's gonna see almost identical to the um, uh, silver one, the Brunel, that we just tested. This USI pen is hands down the best pen of the lot that we've tested here. Now, you know, I might give the edge, I suppose, to the Pixelbook pen, to the Apple Pencil, uh, but we're talking $30, $100. So value to um, performance, you know, these USI pens are the best deal. Now at $30, I think yeah, the Lenovo one here was even a little more expensive, $40. Um, that's still pretty pricey, you know, fine for one teacher to buy, but you're not buying $40 pens for, you know, every kid in your class. But the promise of USI that it's standardized means that it's cheaper to manufacture um, and that will drive the cost down. And I would anticipate that in the future, next few years, you'll be able to buy USI styluses for less than $5. Now, you can also get super, you know, Mont Blanc might uh, create a USI digital stylus for $300. And if you want that and you buy it, or you can buy the $5 pen, but you're going to get a very good experience regardless of which one you use. Um, many other companies are on board. So you're gonna see Windows devices, um, Chromebooks, uh, all become USI compatible. The other thing is you don't have to worry about it. If you've got a mix of uh, Chromebooks at your school, you got some HPs, you got some Lenovo's, ultimately this pen is gonna work with every single one. Um, my HP works great. I can switch over to uh, the Chromebook Duet, works on this, it's brilliant, works uh, wonderfully. So of all of these options, if you have a newer Chromebook manufactured 2020, I would recommend purchasing a USI compatible pen. And again, I'll link to the description, uh, link to these in the uh, description for this video. Um, if you don't have uh, a USI compatible device, I would recommend an active stylus. Um, you can search for that on Amazon or elsewhere. Um, now, it's gonna be a little hit and miss. You may have to buy and return a few different options until you find one that uh, you like. Uh, but that will again, give you the ability to sketch, draw, annotate uh, on your touchscreen Chromebook. The ability to communicate through writing on student work, um, to sketch, draw graphics is wonderful, hands down, and I would highly recommend grabbing a pen for your touchscreen Chromebook.